played the same song that you hopefully have just learned, Hot Cross Buns. Um, but I was wondering if you noticed how when I played, I had a good t sound at the beginning of each note. Let me just do a couple. If you don't use this t sound, it's going to sound more like who? And if you can notice that when you're doing the repeated notes, the four G's in a row or the four A's, it kind of is a little bit tricky. You can run out of air because you're going who, 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 who. It's much easier to play if you put a ta sound. And really, all it is is exactly that. You say ta. I'm just not going to verbalize it. So I'm just going to go t, t on my airstream. So what you want to do with your tongue is have it hit the roof of your mouth as far forward as you can get without being on the teeth. So you're still going to be on the roof of your mouth. You're not going to be touching your teeth, but you just say ta. If you say ta or tip of the tongue, tip of the tongue, and you hear that nice little sparkly sound, you know it's where it should be. If your tongue is back from as far forward as it go, so it's back closer to the ridge, maybe, then it won't sound as sparkly. It'll sound ta, ta. It's a little duller sounding, tip of the tongue. But if I say tip of the tongue, it's very fresh, it's sparkly, it's crisp. Now, how you want to practice that with your flute is first just blow a steady stream of air. So just go with an embouchure. So you can put your finger here and just blow a steady stream of air. Then, while you're blowing that air, just interrupt it with a ta. Because if you can do that, that's exactly what you're going to do with the flute. Now, you're going to take a B, just play a B, one note, and just play it straight. So I didn't start that with a ta, I started it with a hu. But I'm going to do it again, and this time, I'm going to insert that ta. My airstream should remain steady. I'm not stopping and starting. My airstream is steady. And once I can feel that I've got that placement of the tongue, the sound can come out, I can now do the note at the beginning. Now, see how e much easier it is when we do the four G's in a row. It's certainly much easier when you put a ta on it. We call that articulation. Don't worry if you're taking more breaths than I am. That is totally normal, especially with the younger students. You can take as many breaths as you want, but what you want to do is start each note with that ta. So now when we play the other songs, uh, all of them, and you can go back and do the Hot Cross Buns and the Hot Cross Buns duet, um, and then we're going to go through some other songs. Always, always, always start each note with a ta. All right, have fun. <laughs>